Hi there, I'm Luca, and today, keeping in theme with our Pirate Bundle, I will teach you how to draw Fantasy Island maps. But before we get into drawing, have you considered subscribing to our channel? Subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out on any content about 3D printing, gaming or painting. For the sketching stage, all you need is pencil and paper. I'm going with the common letter paper scale, but you can go as big as you like. I like to start by determining a key. That is, all the objects and icons relevant for your map, including the font you're gonna use. You don't have to include absolutely everything you use on the map, but it's better to plan out your drawings in advance, especially if you're inking in the same paper you're sketching. You can go for more detailed drawings or just icons. Just remember to keep it simple, especially if it's something you'll have to draw multiple times, like mountains and forests. For this step, there are a million references online. Just search for something you like. Now let's get into our first sketching phase. First, determine the margins. You can go as deep into the paper as you like. I tend to go as far as I need for the design I plan for the margin. After that, loosely map out the land masses you want in your map. This can be freeform, or you can base it on shapes and objects that come to your mind, or even throw some dice in the paper and see what you get. Just remember to leave out space for the title, scale and compass rows if you want to use them. Which I think is a must if you want to go for a treasure island kind of adventure. As a rule of thumb, just keep in mind we're drawing islands, so we're already working with a reduced scale. So don't draw any land masses that are too small unless they serve a specific purpose. When you're satisfied with your composition, it's time to refine the coasts. I tend to just go by feeling based on the land masses. Just keep a loose grip on your pencil and be creative. Also, add lakes and inlets wherever you see is a good fit. After that, I start with mountains and hills. This will help us with the rivers later on. I tend to draw lines to figure out their location, then start by doing basic line art to lock down their position. Here I also determine any other important elements of our land masses, like ravines, canyons or jagged hills from the moon crash. From those mountains I draw the rivers, that unless moved by some magical force have to run downhill. At this point add your adventuring locations, like towns, ports, pirate coves and interesting places on your map. Add trees and biomes to your map. I like to add adventuring locations before adding trees and forests or drawings that depict biomes. That's because biomes usually take a lot more space and crowd up the map. But if you're building your locations out of the environment, feel free to do that after adding trees and biomes. And finally, and definitely not the least important, determine where your text is going. I'm doing settlement names under the icons and island names following the coast. Here we have two ways to go, just keep working with paper or go in digitally and finalize the map. So for the first method, working on paper, let's get into inking. Trace out your coastline respecting the space for the names. Then go on to do mountains, sediments, forest and text. To finish off I like to add water effects in a coastline to make the islands pop a little bit more. If you're going to age this, start by applying several light layers of cold brew coffee or tea, gently drying it if you feel that you put too much. I'm using a hair blower to speed up the process. Now if you want more aging irregularities on your map, apply coffee more liberally to some parts, allowing them to dry a bit. I also used a bit of ink on this map, to add a bit of color, differentiating land and sea and adding red to the title, compass rows and margins. Now if you're working digitally, there are a million ways you can go. This version of the map was done by Vo and Yame from our design team. Voice started by tracing out the coast based on the original drawing, then adding pre-made line art for the adventuring locations, biomes, sea, and map elements in Adobe Illustrator. Then Yeme applied the drawing under an age paper texture in Photoshop, testing a couple before landing on the right one. She set the paper to multiply so that the lines keep the paper texture. After that, she worked in shading the coastline by copying the line art layer, filling it with color and double clicking to access layer style. She then worked with color overlay and added a few stroke effects to make several lines of color expanding from the coast. This also served to give a relief effect to the map. From here she started coloring sticking to a color palette and lowering the saturation. Finally, they added a margin and aged it, by creating a layer mask over the margin layer and dabbing it with a black texture brush. That's it! I hope you liked our video! And also, if you have made any maps, Please share them in the comments down below or in our Facebook community if you are a Loot subscriber. That's it, and ship away!